Hi, I'm Lucinda and I'm a writer and I'm here with my friends to chat about a book that we made together called Guzzler's Party. We're going to listen to it and look at it as well and then we're going to have a chance to draw one of the characters. I mentioned I'm here with some friends. Here is Alan. Hi, I'm Alan. It's good to see you. And here's Ola. Hi, I'm so excited about what we're going to do today. We are going to be talking about Guzzler's Party, the book, all about something very important, Orla. That's right. The book is all about climate change. Climate change is what is happening to our planet. It's getting warmer and it is not good for all the plants and animals that we share it with. But the good news is Guzzler's Party gives us lots of ideas, the things that you and I, everybody can do. No matter whether you're big or small, everyone can do something to help climate change. What kind of things do you like to do, Alan? Well, I like to turn off light switches. Whenever I see a light switch on, I will go and turn it off. And it really annoys my own kids. But I got this from my granny because my granny was really energy conscious when I was young. And that was years ago because I'm a big dad now. But when my granny was, when I was young, my granny used to turn off light switches wherever she went. She'd say, ah, there's a light on there. It shouldn't be on. We're wasting energy. It's costing us money. We'll turn it off. And she would turn it off. And sometimes she'd turn off the light switch when I was in the loo and I'd be left there in the dark sitting on the loo going, nanny, turn on the light switch. I'm in the toilet. It was terrible. And I do this to my kids now and they think I'm terrible for doing it. But I say, I'm saving the environment. So that's how I get away with it. How about you, Lucinda? Well, I like going outside and growing things mm -hmm. and especially growing vegetables that we can eat. And it means that the vegetables only have to travel from the garden to the kitchen and then onto our plates. They don't travel in the air and they don't travel on the road and they are very tasty. So we're very lucky. That's great. Well, one of the things I really like to do is to walk. So rather than getting into the car, I love to walk or cycle or even to scoot sometimes. Sometimes hop, but mostly walk. <laughs> mostly walk. <laughs> there are all sorts of things in the book happening. I think we should listen to it now. Hi everyone, my name is Ali and this is Guzzler and today we're going to read Guzzler's party. Get up Guzzler, the sun is up, said Alina. The party is today, we've lots to do and a lot to learn about energy. I love parties, said Guzzler. Is it my party? Yes, it's an energy party for everyone, said Alina. What's an energy party? It's a party to celebrate how we're all using and saving energy, said Alina. Eat up, this yummy food and drink will give us the energy we need this morning. It's time to go to school. How will we get there? Me and you and Guzzler too. What will we do? We can go in a car. Cars use energy from fuel to take a few people. We can go on a bus. Buses use energy from fuel to take a lot of people. We can go on a train. Trains use energy from fuel to take even more people. Is it time for the party? We can use the energy from our breakfast to walk or hop or run or jump or tumble or scoot or cycle. Oh, Guzzler, your hat. There's a lot of energy in the wind today. We're learning how plants use the sun's energy to grow, said Alina. Some of the energy in plants that grew long, long ago turned into fossil fuels, like peat, coal, oil and gas. We use fossil fuels for lots of things, but burning them is bad for the environment, so we need to use less. Alina, is it time for the party? Not yet, said Alina. Me, you and Guzzler too. What will we do? We can grow some of our own fruit and vegetables. We can grow a mix of flowering plants for bees and other insects to pollinate. We can make a water butt to collect rainwater to water our plants instead of using tap water. When we grow our own food or it grows near us, it doesn't have to travel far. That helps us use less fossil fuel. Come to our party! But we still need to use less. Me and you and Guzzler too. What will we do? We can switch to renewable energy like wind and solar to power our lights, fridges, toasters, kettles and all our screens. 
The energy comes from wind turbines and solar panels, like we saw on our school trip. Me and you and Guzzler too. What will we do? Is it time for the party? We can refill drinks bottles and use reusable containers for our lunch in school and on days out. We can turn the taps off to save water. We can switch the lights off when we don't need them. We can close the doors and windows to keep the heat in and keep the cold out in the winter. Is it time for the party? It's home time, said Alina. Me and you and Guzzler too. What will we do? We can use renewable energy to heat our homes, schools and shops. We can insulate our buildings, just like we put on warm clothes to save energy and keep warm. Is it time for the party? Not yet, and I'm too hot now, said Alina. Me and you and Guzzler too. What will we do? We can stop and rest and cool down. We can turn the heating down. We can go for a swim. We can use renewable energy to heat our swimming pools. That's better, said Alina. Is it time for the party? Not yet, but we need to get ready, said Alina. Me and you and Guzzler too. What will we do? We can go to the library. Libraries are great for reusing books. We borrow them, read them, then bring them back so someone else can read them. Here's a book with a cake recipe in it, said Alina. It shows how to make pizza too. Is it time for the party? Not yet, but it's time to shop. Me and you and Guzzler too. What will we do? We can choose food that hasn't come from far away. We can choose things with less packaging or with packaging that can be reused or recycled. Is it time for the party? Soon, said Alina. Let's go home and cook. Me and you and Guzzler too. What will we do? We can use some of the things we grow for the pizza topping. We can save energy if we cook the pizza and the cake at the same time. Is it time for the party, Alina? Not long now, Guzzler, but first we need to clean up, said Alina. Me and you and Guzzler too. What will we do? We can sort out what we used into things we can use again and things we can recycle. Composting is recycling. Worms and other tiny living things turn food and vegetable waste into food for plants. That's great. Nothing for the rubbish bin, said Alina. Is it time for the party now? Yes, let's go, said Alina. Me and you and Guzzler too. What will we do? At last, we can party. Well done, everyone. We've all used and saved our energy well. Let's celebrate. We can eat and drink and dance and play games with all our friends at our energy party. The end. Thanks, Guzzler. That was fun. Thanks, Ali. That was lovely to see the book to come to life and see the words and the pictures together. Alan, what was your favourite part? Well, my favourite part, Lucinda, was when they went into the school garden and they were planting vegetables. Because we used to do that at home when we were kids. My dad used to plant loads of vegetables in the garden and we loved eating them. So I really enjoyed reading that part and I enjoyed drawing it. How about you, Orla? Well, you know, I really like that scene as well when they're in the school garden. I especially like when Guzzler puts the party hat on the scarecrow. <laughs> and that's really, I love looking out for the party hat throughout all of the pictures. But my favourite part is actually when they're in the kitchen and they're preparing the pizza party because it's given me so many ideas of how I can save energy when I'm cooking. And I love to cook with my children. And I love seeing the mouse cutting the, uh, the window box with his lawnmower. Really makes me laugh. How about you, Lucinda? It's very hard for me to say what my favourite bit is because I actually wrote it all. So I love seeing it all come to life. And Alan... You made that happen with the illustrations. I did, Lucinda. I did all the drawings that go into the book, Guzzler's Party. And I love drawing. So that's what we are going to do now. Everybody here, everybody watching, if you grab a pencil and some paper, I'm going to show, show all you kids 
how to draw the characters from Guzzler's party. So we are going to do some drawing today. We're going to draw Alina. We're going to draw Guzzler. And I am going to also show you how to draw some yummy, delicious pizza. So have you got your pens ready? Have you got your paper ready? We're going to start right now. Now, this is how you draw Alina first, OK? So we're going to start drawing Alina with her eyes. We're going to do two big circles for her eyes. One big circle here, there we go, and a little bit across from it, another big circle like this. And they're the outside of her eyes. Now we're going to do the little black pupils inside her eyes. We're going to do another circle in here, and another circle in here, and then we're going to colour each pupil black. So we're going to colour them black there, and colour them black there. And don't worry if you're not colouring in completely, or if you're going over the lines, don't worry at all. It's only a bit of fun. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw Alina's nose. And Alina's nose looks like this. It looks like a J shape, like a letter J that you read in a book or you write in a copy. A big letter J like this. There we are, a big J. And now we're going to do Alina's big smile. So we're going to do a big curve for a big smile. So under her eyes and under her nose, I'm going to do a big smile that looks like this and goes over to there in a big curve. Brilliant. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do Alina's chin. So this is the bottom part of her face. And I'm going to do another big curve like this, but I'm going to make it like this. It's going to be a big deeper curve. It's going to almost look like a big U shape. If you know the letter U, you will be able to draw this shape. It's going to start here beside her smile. It's going to come down like this and go roundy, 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 and up to the other side. There we go. And then we're going to draw Alina's ears. Now, to draw each ear, I'm going to do a little shape like this. It's almost like um like a letter C shape that you'd learn in school. So a letter C shape. I'm going to do a letter C shape for this ear like that. Okay, see little C? And then I'm going to do a backwards one over the other side. So over here, I'm going to do another letter C like that. Brilliant! Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw Alina's hair. Now Alina has this really frizzy hair and it's mad curly. So we're going to draw a curly bit across the top of her face first of all. We're going to draw a curly bit of hair that goes across here like that. Okay. And then we're going to draw a big bushy bit of hair that goes over her head like this. So curly, 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 curly. And then over the other side as well. It'll go curly, 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 curly. And then we're nearly finished with Alina. The last thing we have to do is we're going to give her some eyebrows and some eyelashes. So I'm going to draw a little eyebrow there. So that's just a big thick line. And then we do another one over here. And then we give her three little eyelashes on either side. And she has lovely pretty eyes. So we're going to give her one, two, three. And one, two, three, like that. And that is how you draw Alina. And Alina is a lovely character. She loves saving energy. But another character in the book doesn't really know much about energy. And Alina is trying to teach him how to save energy the whole way through. But this character, his name is Guzzler. He only wants his party. He wants to have a pizza party the whole way through. He keeps on saying, when is our pizza party going to happen, Alina? But we are going to draw Guzzler, the green nitwit monster now. Okay, so we're going to start with two eyes, like we did with Alina, but instead of drawing them far apart, we're going to draw them right together. So I'm going to draw a circle here. There's one eye. And a circle right beside it, joined onto it nearly like that. And then we'll do the little black pupil. So we do a little black pupil in there, and another little circle in there for another little black pupil. And then we do a big nose, and the nose we're going to draw is the shape of an egg. It's a sideways oval that looks like an egg that got really tired and lay down to go asleep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a big oval here, like an egg that looks like it's a bit sleepy. 
Brilliant, well done. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give this guzzler a huge big smile because he's such a friendly monster. He's not a scary monster at all. He's a really friendly monster. He's just a bit silly. So to give him a big smile, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing that I did in Lena. Huge big curve that comes from here, under his nose, up to here. Brilliant. And then we're going to draw Guzzler's teeth. Now, Guzzler's teeth look like they're little squares. So they're little squares like this. So um, what I'm going to do is he has two big teeth at the front. So I'm going to draw two squares coming out of his mouth. So a little square here. There's one square. And for his other tooth, another little square there. Brilliant. And then we give him some freckles because he's a freckly monster. So we're going to give him one, two, three freckles there. Um, one, two, three freckles there. Excellent. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do his hair. Now he has a little bit of hair, but it's not mad curly like uh, Alina's hair. It is a little bit spiky. So what I'm going to do to do his spiky hair is I'm going to draw one, two, three spikes just over his eyes. Okay, so I'm going to do one, two, three spikes like that. Brilliant. And then, because he absolutely loves parties and he really wants his pizza energy party at the end, we're going to give him a little spiky party hat on top of his head. So to draw that, I'm going to draw a triangle which has three sides like that. But I'm just going to do the upside and the downside and it's going to attach to his hair like this. It's going to go up and then down like that. Brilliant. And then Guzzler, because he's a monster, he has two horns, kind of like, bit like a cow or a bull. He has two horns or a goat, and he is a bit of a silly goat, so it makes sense. So I'm going to give him two little horns at the side of his head. And you know what I'm going to draw them like? I'm going to draw them like the end of a banana. You know, a banana goes up like that and then down like this, and it's kind of a bit curvy. I'm going to do it like that. So I'm going to draw from the side of his hat a curvy line going up. And then, from the end of the horn, a curvy line coming down. Brilliant. And then we do the same thing on the other side. From his hair here, I'll draw a curvy line going up. And then, a curvy line coming down. And there's his two horns. And we're nearly finished, Guzzler. The last thing we have to do, like we did in Alina, we're going to do the bottom of his face. And we're going to do that with a big curve. That'll start at the bottom of his horn, go under his mouth, around you, around you, around you, up, 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 and hit the other horn at the other side. So it's going to start here, and come down, 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 around, 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 up, 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 right up there to the other horn. And there is Guzzler, the very silly green monster who wants to know more about saving energy. Now, Finally, we have Alina and we have Guzzler. What do we need for a party? We need pizza because this guy Guzzler, he wants to do lots of dancing in his party. But to do dancing, he needs a lot of energy. And how do we get energy? We eat food. And what sort of food does he like? He likes pizza. I know loads of you guys like pizza too. So we are going to draw a slice of pizza for Guzzler and Alina to share. So what we're going to do on our slice of pizza is we're going to start up here. We're going to draw a curved line that comes down like this. So a bit of a curved line. Okay. And then we're going to draw two straight lines. One that starts here and comes straight down like that and then stops. And one that starts at the end of the slice of pizza and goes all the way up to here. So it'll start here and a straight line goes whoop, up, 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 up. And it makes a big kind of triangle shape with around the end. And then we do the pizza crust. Now to do the pizza crust, you see the shape here with the curve? I'm going to do the same thing, but a little bit smaller and inside my slice of pizza. So I'm going to do another curve coming down there. And then, of course, we have our slice of pizza. We have to put some toppings on it. So what sort of toppings do you like? I mean, I like pepperoni, but some people like banana on their pizza. So we will draw a slice of pepperoni for me. We'll put some dots on it so it looks like pepperoni. Oh, that looks delicious. And we'll do a bit of banana. We'll put a little tiny banana on our pizza like that. And what do you think Guzzler likes on his pizza? I would say, because he's a monster, he probably likes bugs and beetles. 
So I am gonna put a bug on this pizza, especially for guzzlers. So a big bug like that. And it looks absolutely not quite delicious. So, how did that go for you? No, I had to go as well. Here is my drawing. What do you think, Alan? I think it is excellent. There's one thing you forgot though, Lucinda. You forgot to put on his party hat. Oh no. I hope he can still go to the party. Oh, I'm sure he'll be allowed. I drew a picture too. I drew Alina because I love Alina. Who did you draw, Orla? Well, I drew Guzzler. And this time I remembered his party hat, Lucinda. What do you think, Alan? I think he's amazing. His party hat is really cool. Don't worry, Lucinda, though. You can draw on his party hat another time. I can keep drawing. And I hope everyone will keep drawing, keep having fun, and keep saving energy. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>